I'm Adrian Dixon. New kid on the director's block, Gavin Claxton, brings us a romantic comedy starring Martin Freeman. It's The All Together. I want you to come out. With me, I mean not in a gay way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, um, <clears throat> you know, just be, it would be disappointing for me as, as a potential sexual partner. Uh, not that you're a slut. Uh, you'd probably need a drink first before we, before, before we took things to the next level. But until then, just one drink or, or lots of drinks, whatever you fancy. There's nothing wrong with a few drinks. Come on. <laughs> I mean, in moderation, not the, with the. <laughs> All right, then. Hitchhiker's Guide star Martin Freeman plays Chris, a frustrated TV producer who's forced to leave his unreliable flatmate, Bob, played by Velibor Topic, in charge of showing a series of estate agents around the house he's trying to sell. Worried by Bob's habit of playing loud music, Chris asks his friend to listen out for the doorbell and shows anyone who comes calling inside. Something that bonkers Bob takes a little too literally. Can I get something for you? No, can you just, please, f off. I was going to talk to you about that. Nothing you could ever say or do will ever make up for this. With a premise so beautifully simple as this, I was looking forward to seeing what writer-director Claxton would come up with. Regrettably, this isn't the fine British outing I was hoping for. The dialogue and setups are clunky, and Claxton has assembled a motley cast who just don't click. The usually wonderful Martin Freeman simply has no sparks with two dimensional Danny Dyer, who takes his 5,487th role playing a gangster. I'm starting to wonder if Dyer is capable of anything else. This all this. This is an unfortunate but potentially dangerous situation. This guy has got a gun and he will use it if you do not listen and do exactly as I say. I take it you're in charge. You can take it that you are not and that is all that should be important to you right now. Aside from the casting missteps and a weak screenplay, not a brilliant start, the direction from the newbie Helmer is somewhat lacklustre too. There's just no urgency in the pacing of the film and any potential comic moments are somehow killed by the poor execution. This is hardly four weddings, not that it's trying to be, but it seems all British comedies are measured against it. And director Gavin Claxton has a long way to go before he reaches the dizzying heights of Richard Curtis. The altogether is good for a mild giggle, but don't expect any belly laughs. 